Went to the hardware store, bought a metal latch, drilled a few holes. Patched it. Bingo, baby. That's a life hack right there. Hanging Hang with, with the Hamiltons. So first of all, I want to thank you for watching our Halloween special and being so super supportive. We put so much hard work into that video that it meant so much to see your positive feedback. Now we wanted to do something special for you by showing you the behind the scenes of how we scouted out those filming locations for the Halloween special and give you sort of a day in the life video, which is something that I know you've been asking for. So without further ado, here you go. Hi, I'm Lawrence B. Hamilton. I'm Cameron Hamilton. And today we're going to take you guys with us on our day in the life. That's right. It's going to be a day in the life video, but we decided to put a unique twist on it by showing you all the life hacks that we use on a day to day to sort of simplify our lives, make them easier. Another unique part of this video is going to be we're actually going to scout out the location for an upcoming Halloween special that Lauren and I have been writing and we're about to film. We're super excited about it. I think you guys are going to have a lot of fun. So come on this journey and let's get it. Let's go. Come on, babe. <laughs> oh, uh, What's up, babe? These data charges, babe, have you seen this? What? Oh, these are preposterous. Yeah. When I think of life hacks, I think of ways to simplify my responsibilities. You know, save time and save money. And one of the ways that Lauren and I have been able to do that is by switching our phone coverage over to Google Fi, as well as our phones over to the Google Pixel, which happen to be the sponsors of today's video. Now, Google Fi has two phone plans. They have the unlimited data plan and they have the flexible plan, which is what we use. And we love the flexible plan because it starts at $20 a month and then you only pay for the data you use at $10 a gigabyte. So if you're only using half a gigabyte, you're only spending five bucks, not bad. And we found that it's super simple to set up and our monthly bill has gone down. So we're very happy. That's right. So right now what I'm doing is that I'm making the to-do list for today. To-do lists for me are so, so necessary with all of the stuff that we always have going on with my brain always looking like a ball of yarn that's pretty much scrunched up. Uh, I have to find ways to keep me organized and doing a to-do list is definitely one of those ways for me. Um, it helps me to make sure that I'm, you know, checking off everything that I have planned for the day, for the month, for the week. Um, and it's really helpful. Doing the one for today, let's see. So to-do list, film, scout for Halloween. Uh, what else, baby? You got your girls night. All right, looking forward to that. Even though it's a socially distanced girls night. It but, is. You know, what are you gonna do? And uh, yeah, much more. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this and check on Sparks. And <laughs> yeah, that's that. That's a wrap. Uh oh. No, no. Lord, what is he up to? What's going on? So our dog loves to go into our trash can. So Cam actually, speaking of uh, life hacks, had to build this thing right here to uh, keep the dog out. That's a life hack right there. I couldn't find a trash can anywhere that was metal, had a metal latch. I was thinking there's gotta be some solution. Went to the hardware store, bought a metal latch, drilled a few holes. Patched it. Bingo, baby. <laughs> All right, as we move on, we have plenty to do on that to-do list, so yeah. let's get to moving, baby. One thing that I really like about the Google Pixel is that the battery life lasts the entire day. And phones in the past, I felt like just couldn't get that full day's use out of the phone. We've even been out on the road before and the phone died while we we're out there. Kind of a bad situation to be in. A little problem here. Uh, I think my battery just died. Your battery died, babe? Yeah, but it's cool. I mean, I, I know the neighborhood. I know the neighborhood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Babe, since when do you know this neighborhood? All right, babe, where are we? We look like we're in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. This map is like 
not even make sense. It doesn't even make sense. This isn't even this country, babe. And now that I have my Google Pixel 4a, I never have to worry about my battery running out over the course of the day. Start the house for me, okay? Good boy. All right, so we're on our way to the park now. We just have to find the directions. Okay, Google, take me to Piedmont Park. Okay, Piedmont Park. Perfect. We'll see you there. All right, guys, so we just arrived here in the park, and we're actually about to start looking around. I got my handy-dandy notebook and my water because it's really hot out in Atlanta today, and, uh, you know, got to stay hydrated. So we're going to look and see what areas we can find that will be a good fit for what we're looking for, for our Halloween theme. No, those are kind of spooky. This area looks pretty cool for a scene that we're thinking about where it's really wooded, mixed with the whole park-like area. So we're gonna get a panorama to just kind of, you know, remember what this area looks like. So when we start documenting the film, we can mark it exactly how we want it to be. Perfect. Okay, so this is really cool. I like how it's like the tennis court right there because we can kind of like show them walking up and then, you know, we don't want to get too much of what we're plotting. Right. But this is perfect because we can actually like look and, you know, plan it out and see where the entrances and exits can be. And it's really cool to just have this. Hey, babe, can you see this picture? I can barely see. It's so small. Yeah, it's kind of grainy. Uh, it's like really this camera on the phone is terrible. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Hmm. Mm. Nothing like a Google Pixel. I'm ready to plan. Let's keep looking. This is kind of a cool tree. There's nobody over here, so I'm taking this mask off. We're at least 100 feet from anyone. This could be kind of cool for somebody, like, you know, if you're running and then you're up against a tree, like, ah! You know, have that whole, like, run scene thing. Yeah. Spooky playground over there. That looks really creepy. What do you think? Yeah, that'll be kind of cool. Let's try it out. It's pretty cool. Never seen anything like this before. It's like a panorama to the next level, though. And this will be the perfect way of actually kind of planning out our shot and figuring out what's going to happen where because we can go look at this later see where all the action is in the shot, even down to the ground here. How'd it turn out? So one thing that's really cool is when I was creating the photosphere, it was kind of severed, like the way the angle was, but now you can see the app has actually figured out how to connect it together. But yeah, it's built this cool little photosphere you can navigate. So this could be where the chasing, the person who's doing the chasing goes and then the person could be hiding in here in this thick bush and he's started in from here. Cool, I think that looks good. So one thing that Cameron loves to do whenever we're at like any type of park or anything like that, he likes to find out what species of flower and plant are in the park. Did you find it? What were you looking at, this berry? Yeah. So it's saying that it might be a crepe myrtle. Wow. Which I feel like I've heard that before. So pretty cool. Google Lens. I'm impressed so far. I'm going to put you to the test though and see how good you are exactly. Even though we're working and we're scouting, it is nice to like just get out the house for a little bit and yeah. get some fresh air. Absolutely and uh, just kind of breathe. I feel like so many times we're just in the house and it's good to just get out and breathe. Just breathe. Okay. Cam, the tree hunter, has spotted yet another tree. Kind of an unusual one, right? Red spinach, Chinese spinach. Now, is that what spinach. it is? Hmm. This is really like the joy of life to Cam. He really enjoys. Nature is a beautiful thing and it's cool when we can use technology to explore it further and understand it better, right? So what do you think? Um, I think that we definitely found some great potential locations for our Halloween uh, short. 
and yeah it was a busy productive day but we got it done the hacks definitely helped for sure the life hacks they save us time they make our lives easier which is what we love about them mm -hmm. so hopefully you're able to apply some of these life hacks to your own life especially these hacks with google fi and Google Pixel. Give Google Fi a try. See if it helps with your phone bill and your data usage and gives you that control you need. So thank you for coming along with us on this day in the life. We had a lot of fun. Yeah. And we'll see you soon. See ya. Google, take us home.